16, I'm here with Jim and Gloria. I just pulled them from the floor basically because they just finished the open gold American rhythm. Uh, see, they still still perspiring a little, and I didn't I didn't allow the fan here. That would be too loud. Uh, I love your dress. Thank you. Uh, did you choose the print or Jim? Uh, I'm a big fan of animal prints, so I always try to wear something animal. But um, Jim chose the style. Do you always choose? Do you always choose, choose a style? I try to. I always look at my student, their level, their body type, and coloring, and we try to pick something that suits, hide, hides the flaws, and improves the assets. Did you hear him hide the flaws? Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, I weigh 105 pounds, and I dance against some women who are a lot larger, a lot stronger, with a lot bigger, stronger legs. So I try to make myself look bigger on the floor with a lot of movement. That's why I like to have ruffles. People would love to have that problem. I mean, and we know right now complaining. Wow! <laughs> you look stunning, though. I love it. I love my dress. I love it. Tell me, guys, how often do you practice? Well, because I travel for a living, teaching all over the country, and Darla's main home is in Virginia, and I'm in Arizona. So we have limited time together. So when I am in town, and we're in town together, two hours a day. Whoa, that's something you... How do you manage that? Tell me. Well, you got you got to you got to spend a lot of time in discipline, and it, sometimes you got to be a little tough. Is he strict with you? He's sometimes I think he's very mean, but um, <laughs> some days I don't do anything right. Everything is wrong, but uh, it, I. It depends on on the moon, right? It, yes, right, and it, it makes me stronger as a dancer. I'm I think I'm more mature and I handle things better. Uh, I see, he I see. he doesn't treat me like a baby. But it's great. That's what makes you a great dancer. But how did you manage, you live in different cities, how did you manage to meet and practice, how does it work? Well, we met a long time ago when I was traveling on the road and we just got together and it's worked out. <laughs> so you're traveling back and forth too, right? Uh, either to a competition or to Phoenix for practice or, uh, you know, sometimes he's working and I'm working wow. and we just always meet somewhere. Guys, that's what we do for passion. <laughs> Stay for more news from International Grand Day 2016.